not too sure if I really need this tool or not, but yeah. So both of the hurt and just that's no no, I don't think I really need it. I think I can just go like this. And it'll be okay. Yeah, we didn't need it. Did not need it at all actually. That was still cool to do that anyways. Is this only the MIDI? I don't think so. The musical instrument is it's like two things. Yes. Yes, yes. Here it is. Is that what MIDI really stands for? I don't know. Should I look it up real quick? Yeah. Should I just look it up during editing time for it? It's so fancy. Okay, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Because there's three things in this box. And I'm going to go over these. And I'm actually going to use some of these. This I will not be using on camera in this video. I know you're probably disappointed because it's the one that you're most interested in and excited about. Because I know I sure am. Because if you've seen my iOS video with where I was unboxing the light named uh, 3.5 millimeter jack. And I had another tool that I was unboxing that one that allowed me to connect this USB cable into that USB A port. So Yes, some interesting times. Oh, look at that. Look how cool this is. Okay, the lighting looks really dark here. Perhaps I would have been better off turning on the camera, but... Not the camera, the camera light. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess I could take one of these lights and just mount it to the ceiling. Would that make the video too dark? Okay, if I do that, then you can see the lines. And it doesn't make it necessarily that much better. Okay. If I could somehow just let it stay like this and make it really bright. Oh, you know what? Who cares? It's going to be kind of dark and that's just that. So, I guess I'll just go over this first. Am I going to test my BlackBerry passwords with it? I don't know. Probably should. Or do I want to test a USB-C device? No, you know what? I need to spin, uh, what's a coin? Do I have a, a guy nearby? You know what? Actually, I'll just flip this. If it says Nonda, I'll go to Nonda. If I get this, then I'll just use that. Okay, so Nonda it is. So I'm either going to do the USB-C device first. Now, I hope that this works because some people are saying that only one out of two typically works. And I'm really hoping that's not going to be the case for mine because that's just dumb. Both should work. Here are the papers. By registering at adapter Nonda. Co, your USB warranty will be upgraded from one year to three years and you will be qualified to test one of our newly launched products. We are constantly striving to provide the best experience for our customers and we would be grateful if you could take a minute to post an impartial review. <laughs> I like how they emphasize the impartial review part so that means they don't want you to be biased or sponsored or being paid the shields. Just a genuine one. That's what they're asking for. I like that, that this company actually wants general reviews, not those fake, artificial, I've been heavily paid sort of reviews. Now, I believe that these do come in four colors, rose gold, silver, and uh, gold? Yeah, I think it was black, rose gold, silver, and gold. Now, I'm not going to sure how well the lighting will show this color. I mean, from this view and with this lighting, they look like bronze. I mean, if I also take apart my iPhone right now, or at least take off its case, you could probably compare. And you know what, because I mentioned I'm going to do that, yeah. I kind of didn't want to take up the case, but if I'm going to just mention it, I might as well do that so we can compare the shades of rose gold and see which looks rosier. Uh, I'd say it's... Well, okay, you can't really tell with this lighting, but because I can see it, this looks a bit pinker, this looks more like bronze. That is that. And yes, now for the USB-C device that we're going to test it in. None other than the Lumia 950 XL. So okay, you can see that I already have the sound application. Or well, the sound application, I guess to say recording application opened up. It's going to go in like this. Oh, this is actually a bit of a problem because this case is not allowing me to stick it in. Like, I'm not getting the deep penetration I'm trying to get here. Alright, so it looks like we're going to have to strip her right down before 
we embark on deep penetration. Uh, in some volume keys. Okay. All right. So you have stripped off the finished ladies' clothes, and now we can penetrate. Oh, am I recording the sound right now? Okay, I did not mean to do that. Stop. And, uh, what to delete last, I guess? Okay. Have my snowball over there. It's not in the frame. But I'm gonna plug it in. Okay. No. Okay, this needs to be there, and then this needs to be here. And then this goes in here. Hello, well, it even makes the same window sound. Did you hear that? Hello, well. Wow, just at the computer. How cool is that? Hello, L. Okay, so we're gonna go back into it. Let's see what it does. So now this is making me really curious. What would happen if I were to drive this a mouse? Anyway, let's just try the microphone and see how it works. And that starts recording. Okay, so you can see that the sound waves are clearly very weak. Now, look at the difference as soon as they start charging up into the mic. And you can see how much stronger they're. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And that's charge up into the Razer phones microphones too. Yeah, you know, I don't really notice any difference because it's far away like this microphone is far away from that microphone over there so it works and that's pretty cool so we're gonna go to stop and take this out yep just like a windows 10 machine it makes the exact same noises it makes me so sad that they just didn't continue that operating system like why microsoft why whatever i'm still using windows phone anyway someday hopefully they'll come back to it maybe do windows phone 11 or something i don't know Okay, where's that lid to that toe? Actually, okay, it's over there. Anyway, so yeah, as I say, I wanted to test a mouse. I have my Logitech here. Seriously, this lighting is actually really, really dark. I think I might just honestly, I don't know. Just really wish I had another light up there. Anyways, hopefully the darkness won't bum you out too much. Mm. Oh, it's making the same window sound. I don't know what it's going to do, but we'll see. Try to turn it on. Oh, I need to make sure I'm in frame, of course, so you can see all the exciting actions. Oh my gosh! Say what? Look at that! Guys, I turned my Windows phone into a mini computer. That is so cool. I didn't know you can actually do that. No way! Okay, hold on. So I need to bring this closer. Um, do I have something I can mount this on or something? Yeah. Okay. I know I have a chip store here. It might look a bit tacky, but you need to see this, man. You have to see this. Check that out. Okay, it looks a little bit awkward, but if I say uh, go to folder here yeah i can do that look at that okay i don't know how well this is going to look on your end but as i look into the camera while i'm recording this the text looks slightly jagged or pixelated but in reality it doesn't actually look like that so maybe if i focus it will it look better uh, slightly then it makes over here look a bit darker oh well okay so that's really really cool but the big question is how will it work on something like a BlackBerry? And I'm thinking the BlackBerry Passport. Will we get these same functions? Will it just behave, malfunction? Well, the only way we'll find out is if I just try it. 
Okay, I absolutely could not stand how dark the first 10 minutes of this video looked, so I decided to turn on the camera's light. Now, I know I have to keep this off to the side like this, because if I keep it like this, well, it looks like it's a shooting star inside the phone, and that doesn't look good on my end. It's certainly not going to look good on your end, so I'll just keep it off to the side like that, which looks much better. Okay, so now I'm going to plug the... Okay, you know what? I really wish I did not unplug my microphone. Ah, oh, whatever. So I'll just have to... Actually, I think I see a Ziploc thing on this, so I just have to tear it like that, and go inside of it. See what I have? Oh. Thank you for choosing you green. Well, you green, you better be reliable. Okay, so North America, Europe, so in Europe you get the United Kingdom, France, Italy, Germany, and Spain, and then in Asia Pacific, Japan, Australia, Middle East, the United Arab Emirates, I don't know what KSA is, I think that's Saudi Arabia, Ray, 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 throw that aside, now I get to come inside of this and see what will happen, will I get the same cool functionality as I did with the Windows phone, or will it just be an utter disappointment, I do not know, let's just rest this down, if anything cool comes up, then I will zoom in on it, for now, let's just penetrate the Blackberry, hopefully it's not going to be difficult like the Finish lady. Okay, so that went in easily. Now to plug in the microphone again. Where did I put it? The cord? Okay, I have to put this on the bed. So, I, actually, no, I'll just connect this end first. And then, wait, hold on, let me, let me turn it in the camera because you guys want to see that goodness. And then I will hit record once I have it connected to the microphone. Okay. Did it do anything? I don't see any notifications or anything. Okay, so the only way I'll find out is if I hit record. Alright, please ensure that you've given this app permission. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, I am back. Let's move this more to the side. And now let's see if it'll work. Okay, it's working. It looks like it cannot detect the microphone because I'm talking close to it and the sound is look pretty big. Whereas if I talk into the microphone, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. It feels about the same. Actually, no, it looks weaker. Let me scream. Ah! <laughs> okay, that was very, very silly. But no, seriously, I don't think I'm noticing much of a difference. Like, I don't know if it actually detected it or not. Okay, let's hit stop. And we'll try again. Maybe something will happen if I... Okay, are you sure you want to cancel? Yes, I want to cancel. Okay, so I'm going to take the microphone out. Wait, was the microphone light even on? Perhaps I should have paid attention to that. Okay, so I'm going to reconnect to see if the microphone lights up. Because that will be the biggest giveaway as to whether it's actually working or not. And uh, no, the microphone did not even light up. So it looks like it only works for Android, Windows Phone, and uh, iOS. Hmm. A bit of a disappointing. I was hoping that it would maybe work, but it did not. It doesn't even light up. Because you know what, let me, let me actually bring the Windows Phone back into the picture let me show you so plug this into this and the microphone lights right up it lights up you can even hear it making those sounds you plug it into the blackberry now and not a thing happens so yeah i guess it's just not compatible so should i even test the mouse yeah, I'm going to still test the mouse today because why not? Now, is this to say that this is useless and I bought this for nothing? No, because I can still test it in Android devices with micro USB. In fact, I have my Samsung Galaxy S5. Now, I'm not going to power it up right now because eh, I don't feel like it. Maybe in a later video I might. But for now, let's just test this mouse. Let's see what happens. I don't expect anything to happen. No. Blackberry 10 is just really, really dead. Even deader than Windows 1, apparently. So, that's sad, because nothing's happening. Okay, what if I go to the browser? Will something happen there? Nope. Nothing! Wow, that is so boring and sad! Oh well, it just doesn't do anything cool. So you know what? Get out of the picture, and let us bring on something more exciting, like... Uh, Oh yeah, let's talk about this rolling thing some more. Yeah, okay, so let's bring all these guys out to the picture. 
and let's give more attention to this. And then you look over some of its specifications for iPad compatibility, check online at rollin.com slash support. And it tells you how long the cable is. So it's 1.2 meters. Works with Mac, works with Windows. You can connect it to a vintage synthesizer. The reason why I bought this is so I can connect it to an older keyboard because I have an older Yamaha and a Casio and they don't use whatever the modern ones use so you had to get this. And honestly, once I figure out how this works, I'm legitimately thinking of, actually no, I already have plans to actually redo the Gizaka theme anyways for November 1st, 2020, but I would also like to redo Atazaka maybe, hmm, sometime in 2020, actually perhaps like the first, no not the first, the, the fi uh, you know what, you, you, you'll find out, like when Atazaka's time comes, you, you'll know. Uh, do most people even know what Atazaka is at this point? Because if you do not know what Atazaka is at this point, then wow, that means you missed the tweet earlier in January 2020. Okay, so, should I actually open this, take a close look at it? Yeah, I think I should. What's the best way to get into it though? Like, uh, okay. Wait, is there a certain like any direction the arrows or something to help me out here okay all right i, I see this thing i have to pull this don't lie you're highly amused with me struggling it's very very amusing and then because it's in 4k 60 fps that makes it even all the more amusing okay so i right, know i shouldn't do that <laughs> Seriously, what, what, what was doing that supposed to honestly do? Did I really expect but doing that to make it easier? Because that was just so silly. Very silly. You know, now I'm actually legitimately curious. Would that mouse work on an iOS device? I, I know I'm supposed to be taking a look at this, but now it just made me super, super curious. And now I actually feel like doing it. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to actually do that. But first, I just wanted to take a closer look at this. So you can see... In, you can see out, you can see USB, you can even see, uh, what does it say? Okay, yeah, connect to MIDI in, connect to MIDI out. And then, under, oh, would you look at this, a CD? Okay, so if I have to use this CD to install the drivers, that might be kind of problematic, because then that means I'm going to have to dig through some totes to get that external thing that allows you to put a CD into the thing so you can use it in a modern all-in-one or something because a lot of these modern computers, they do not have the optical disk drive just built into it, so you have to use something like that. But most people don't even use physical CDs, so that's why they make most of these modern computers without the optical disk drive mm -hmm. built in. So, did something just vibrate? I heard something vibrate. Or am I just imagining? Okay, so I am back now. It turns out that when I heard the phone vibrate, not only did it run out of storage, but the battery was also running low. So the first logical thing I tried to do was to just transfer 36 gigabytes worth of videos, but for some reason, it was acting weird. It did not just transfer so easily. Like, I think it was just pausing, and then when I looked into it, the file didn't even show up, even though it said that the card was full. So it kind of led me to think that the card was faking all that, so I had to go through some... Uh, to put it short, rigmarole to get the card back up and running and make sure that the files were transferred, that they were safe and all. So, okay, here I am now at this part of the video. And, and honestly, I don't remember too much I was supposed to do at this point, so I'll just test all the operating systems now and see if they can recognize the mouse. I already played with them off camera, and I can you know, just give you a spoiler right out the bat. It does not work on iOS, it only works on Android and Windows 10 Mobile. Blackberry, why is it even in the picture? I don't know. I just felt like including it because um, if I already have the other operating systems, I might as well just have all four, you know, the major four. So, okay. You can see that I have some Flappy Birds here. And I will test Android first. So, Logitech. In you go. And it had to power off. Seriously, why did it do that? Wow, it's like it stopped working. Okay, well... We'll try again and see if it works. Or is it just because I plugged in a mouse and then it started acting weird? Okay. So you can see the mouse on the screen. Alright, it's working now. It's 
So look at that. You can play games with your mouse. Well, clicking games, that is. The Windows phone is getting bored, so it's about to time out. Okay, you get the idea. Now we're going to move right into iOS. And you will see that it does not... Okay, I'm just going to take this off the screen. It keeps saying, oh, it's not working. And that's just really annoying to look at. So... Oh, that was very rough. Wow, I went very hard and rough with the penetration there. Poor Californian lady. Oh well. Anyways. You can see it's working here, but iOS can't read it, so there's nothing more I can do. Blackberry, we've already been there. I'm not going to even bother. I'm just going to just tap for the fun of it because why not? I want to give him some attention. And bam, you get the idea. And on Windows Phone now, let me adjust the volume. Maybe that's too loud, I don't know. Actually, I think it should be alright. Okay, how do we penetrate this thing? Okay, there we go. You can even hear the sound. Now we just go to play. Uh, select the level, we'll start with level 1. Okay, maybe that's too loud. Let's also bring it closer, because that's really, really far, and that must look so annoying. There, isn't that... Okay. I'm going to have to move this to the side for reasons I already explained in the video, so I'm not going to repeat myself. Okay, let's restart. Alright, you get the idea. I think this video has been already way too long, and now it is time to call it quits. But before I call it quits, let me bring the Roland into the picture again. Let me bring the U Green into the picture again, but first let me just pull it out of the Korean lady. Get it? I pulled out of a Korean lady. Giggity, 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 giggity. Yeah! Whoa, what kind of laugh was that? Anyways, so, if you are interested in buying these products, you already know, why am I even saying this? You go to the links below in the video description. They will link you directly to Amazon Canada. But if you are, if you are in different locales, you know the drill already. Just copy and paste the name into your locale and buy the products from there. And now, I can finally call it quits with this video. Although, to be honest with you, I think the idea that the fact that I can actually play with the mouse leads to some very interesting opportunities for future gaming videos. So, if you would like to see me do more... Game videos evolve. No, no, now mind you, most of them obviously aren't going to evolve the mouse, but I feel like now and then or occasionally I should, just, I should make some gaming videos with Android and Windows 10 Mobile because since those two supports the mouse, it should just be uh, an occasional fun gimmick. Out. Out.